tomorrow morning. It will be a gradual drying trend for them. Still today, though, significant rainfall on the way. And for our area, so let's, have, oh my gosh, that was creepy. Oh, of course he had to be right on my head. Oh, I just don't like that. Okay, I gotta move. <laughs> Come on. No, I hate it. I can't stand it. You realize it's not there. <laughs> Christy, it's not in the room. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Seriously? I'm so sorry. Okay, I gotta keep going here. You okay? Yes. Uh, you know what? It just really creeps me out. I'll say. <sighs> wow. Do you want me to take over? You want us to work on this? Story? No, it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. So. <laughs> Uh, so later today, we are expecting some sunny breaks. 19 degrees should be our daytime high. So while we're dealing with this, still a fair amount of cloud from that same system. <laughs> I will get, I will clear this up. Don't worry about it. Uh, so we are still seeing a fair amount of cloud, uh, but we will start to see sunny breaks, but we're not expecting it too much later in the day. A huge improvement in terms of temperature, that's for sure. Today, yesterday, for example, in the afternoon, we were only at 13 degrees. Nice as we changed into summer uh, at 10 p.m. last night. But 19 should be our daytime high, but we'll see cloud redevelop overnight. And that cloud cover tomorrow morning could be so thick that we could see periods of drizzle in the morning. So don't be surprised if you see that for your Saturday morning, but it's later in the day. We certainly will clear out of that cloud cover. So here's a look at the future cast, and I'll get through this quickly because now we've wasted a whole lot of time. But this is into tomorrow morning. You can still see a fair amount of cloud cover across southern BC and a few showers in through the Columbia area. Uh, so that's why we still do have that.